As North Dakota faces some lean economic times, state lawmakers are forced to make some tough decisions. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Andrea is off. Some Democratic legislatures are saying it's Republicans that created North Dakota's current budget mess. Today, during a special session of the legislature in Bismarck, Governor Jack Dalrymple announced a plan to reduce a $310 million deficit. As Valley News Team's Neil Carlson shows us, it's left UND facing another major cut that some Democrats say could have easily been avoided. Here at the University of North Dakota, they've already gone through one round of budget trimming. It eliminated $22 million from their budget. Now they're being asked to cut another $7.8 million by August 15th. It's not known yet what positions or programs will bear the hit. You don't know yet whether that's faculty positions or staff. I have no idea at this point exactly what, what that's going to end up looking like. We'll, we'll know that in two weeks, though. During the last legislative session, Republicans led the charge to cut the North Dakota oil extraction tax from 6.5% to 5%. That eliminated an estimated $200 million of revenue from the current budget, which is about two-thirds of the current budget problem. The current state budget deficit is $310 million. I, I could see no reason for us to voluntarily reduce that tax and just voluntarily sacrifice and give it. Most states wouldn't do that. So, yeah, we, we, we just, I think we volunteered for this financial mess. Where we strongly disagree with what the majority did was cutting the oil extraction tax, its base rate, permanently by 23%. That, according to data from the Legislative Council, is estimated to cause the state, cost the state, $13 million a month. But for now, state institutions like UND and many other agencies across the state will need to brace themselves for more cuts. In Grand Forks, Neil Carlson, Valley News Live. Governor Dalrymple says North Dakota Human Services will be spared from any more cuts, but State Senator Max Schneider says it's doubtful that reinstating a higher oil extraction tax will be considered during this special session of the legislature.